Legendary American actress, writer, fashion model, and fitness coach Lady Jane Seymour Fonda was born on 21st December 1937 in New York City of mixed Italian, Dutch, French, English, and Scottish ancestry. She is the winner of an Academy Award, a BAFTA, Emmy, and Golden Globe Awards for her acting, and is a demonstrated fitness guru. Her fame from being active in the entertainment industry since 1959 has helped Jane as a political activist, too. Is Jane Fonda rich? It has been reported by Celebrity.Money that the net worth of Jane is as high as $220 million as of mid-2017. Among the highest paid roles played by Jane Fonda has been as Alice Martin in The Electric Horseman. $2 $2 million, Judy Burnley in 9 to 5, and Iris Estella King in Stanley and Iris for $3.5 million each. Moreover, she owns a house in Hollywood Hills West, valued at $8.5 million, and recently sold her ranch near Santa Fe, Mexico for $19.5 million. Jane Fonda's father was the highly respected actor, Henry Fonda, a difficult act to follow, but fortunately they were close particularly as her mother Frances committed suicide when she was 12, and he encouraged his daughter in her interest. They even appeared together on stage. Jane debuted on the Broadway stage in the play There Was a Little Girl in 1960, for which she was nominated for a Tony Award, while concurrently appearing in the feature film Tall Story, directed by Joshua Logan. A couple of years later, the actress rose to prominence starring in the film Period of Adjustment, directed by George Roy Hill. Critics consistently praised her acting, and Fonda received two nominations for a Golden Globe and Laurel Awards. After this success, she continued her career at the same pace, receiving nominations for her roles in the films Cat Ballou in 1965, Annie Wednesday the following year, Curry Sundown, and Barefoot in the Park, both in 1967, and of course Barbarella in 1968. The role of Gloria Beatty, landed in They Shoot Horses, Don't They, in 1969, was a successful continuation, worth Kansas and New York Film Critics Awards. Her best role landed to that point, but all roles added to her growing net worth. In 1971, Jane Fonda appeared in the film Clute, directed by Alan J. Pakula. The role brought her worldwide recognition as well as a number of awards, including Academy, Golden Globe, National Society of Film Critics awards, among others. Afterwards, Jane managed to create many roles during the next two decades worth nominations and awards in notable films Julia, Coming Home, Comes a Horseman, California Suite, The China Syndrome, On Golden Pond, The Morning After, and Old Gringo. Certainly an impressive CV. Perhaps feeling the pace, Jane retired in 1990 from both the big screen and television, before returning in 2005 for Monster-in-Law with Jennifer Lopez, another box office success. Then in 2009, she returned to the Broadway stage in 33 variations, actually earning a Tony nomination for Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Play. In 2013, she proved to be worth a nomination for a Screen Actors Guild Award for her role in the film The Butler. Recently, Jane has been voiced for The Simpsons and has been working on films the early years, Fathers and Daughters, and Crystal. So much for retirement. Moreover, Jane Fonda has added much to her fame and wealth as a fitness coach. Since 1982, she has released 22 workout videos under the franchise of Jane Fonda's Workout, of which more than 17 million copies have been sold. Furthermore, several autobiographical books about the life of this personality have been published. Finally, Jane Fonda has been prominent in protests and support, such as against the Vietnam War and Iraq War and in the support of women's rights, including advocacy against domestic violence and abuse. In her personal life, Jane Fonda has been married three times, firstly to film director and producer Roger Vadim from 1965 to 1973. They have a daughter. Her second husband was political and social activist Tom Hayden from 1973 until 1990, and they have a son. Fonda then married magnet Ted Turner in 1991, but they divorced in 2001. Fonda has been in a relationship with record producer Richard Perry since 2009. They currently live in Hollywood.